Hello everyone. Okay, so it's quite a large canvas that I'm working on today. All the details are in the description below. I can just reach the other side, so that kind of demonstrates how large that is. I've got grey to go all the way through the middle. That's the bit that's the paint that I'm going to use to do the reverse Dutch pour. And then I've got all these different pink tones that I'm going to place on the canvas. I'll just run through some of these tones now and you can see they're very fluid. They don't leave a mound upon a mound. And I've got some all different brands, different tones. So I'm hoping that's going to also create some cells and some lacing. And I've chosen this color palette because I wanted it to represent a really happy and vibrant piece. And I also don't really work with pinks very often. So I thought I would jump in at the deep end and use a large canvas and create a reverse Dutch pour. You've probably seen one of my previous ones that I've done. I did a, a, a blue toned one. So I'm going to put the gray in the middle all the way down. I'm going to then blow out the gray over the top of the pink tones that I lay. So I'm going to go for it and let's see what we can create.
So here's a close up of the wet version. So as you can see, there's that gray throughout the middle and then all those pink tones all around the edges and the side. And it's created some great cells. I love how these different tones have intertwined and created some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I find this end really interesting with all those cells there. I wonder if they'll stay there as this piece dries. I'm very conscious I have quite a lot of paint still on this canvas. I'm praying that it doesn't crack. Um, so yeah, keep everything crossed. But let me know what you think. I really enjoyed doing this. It's a bigger piece that I've normally worked on for, for a while. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the overall look and the tones that I've chosen. Okay, so this is the dried version that I'm going to show you. And I'm doing it at this distance because it's quite a large piece. And I just wanted to show you it in some really good lighting. So, here we go. The dried piece. As you can see, the grey didn't maintain all the way through. And I think that's because there was a lot more paint on the canvas that I'd anticipated and it's kind of drawn back into the middle. But the way it's done it, I think is a bit of a wow moment because I just love some of the movement that it's got here. I love this part of it here. And I'd love to know what you think. I'll take you in for a close up shortly, but just to show you kind of the, the shimmer that it has and the, the colors that it has on the, uh, on the piece. So I'll take you in for a close look now and I'd love to know what you think. Okay, so here we go. And for some reason, I feel that it's not as vibrant as what it actually looks like. So I need to sort that lighting out, guys. But you can just see the shimmer, the different tones I've used. Some of those iridescent colours as well, just shimmering through. And when I look at it, I actually see um, a lady um, with quite a tall figure and um, with a long flowing dress and long flowing hair. So have a look at it. And let me see what you think you can see in this design. That's one thing that I really love about art, abstract art. People look at a piece and they can pick out so many different things. And it's really, really interesting to hear what people think. So I'm just going to go through some close-ups with you. Please feel free to stick around to the end of the video. I'd love for you to see the detail and the different colours and tones that this piece has created. And most of all, I'd love to hear what you think of this piece. Some of the designs, some of the tones that I've used. And what do you see in it? Do you see the lady that I've described? Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you'll join me for the next video. Have a great week, everyone. Take care and see you soon. Bye.